Okay, recently we've been looking at the Zincbury as part of these series of blogs. And there's a really good application that, come, that you can download a demo application from Trends on their website that you can use. That actually just shows you how you can quickly and easily get the, uh, get the camera up and running using a Raspberry Pi camera. So I have connected, as you can see, a Raspberry Pi camera. This is revision 1.3 for anybody that's interested in what version of the camera it is. And it's connected in just to the camera, camera socket here. Now what we want to do on the... Uh, to get this up and running is the first thing we need to do is to download from the Trends website the application. So this is actually it's a demo one and this is the application so this comes with it comes with everything we need to do to get it up and running. So the first thing to do is to click on this and actually to download the application. Once we've downloaded the application we get this as a zip file as you can see I've already downloaded it and you will see that it comes comes through. So once we ex extract it, we will get a number of directories that are extracted. We can click underneath the project directory and you'll see we have the complete Vivado design. And then we have a number of these uh, scripts here to actually create the, to recreate the Vivado design or to, in this case, to do what we want to do, which is to program the device. So with that in mind, I'm first just going to uh, connect the power to my Zinc Gray. So this is connected to my laptop uh, over USB. Which is how it get, which is how it gets its power. So with it powered, you can hear my laptop finding it there. I'm going to click on the flash bin file. So the Zincberry has a has a dual boot sort of system. It uses the QSPI to store the the bit file and the the FPJ configuration and the first stage boot bootloader, and then that then takes passes across to the SD card, which contains the operating system for for Linux in this case and the second stage bootloader so it can all come up and running. So if we double click on this, we will see, we will be able to program, we'll get a script comes up that allows us to be able to program the flash device on the Zinc And this takes a few minutes to do. And when it's all completed, you'll see it run through here. When the script's all completed, you will see the, uh, you'll see the script end and the script will disappear. And then all we've got to do then is copy the files onto the SD card. So as you can see, it's uh, it's programming away now. So it's uh, taken not too long to actually uh, to actually program the device, and then once that's done, that will close down and complete. The next stage we need to do is obviously is we need to program the contents to the SD card such that we can actually run the application that will that will put the image on the TV screen. So within this, we go to the pre-built area and then into the pre-built operating system under Peta Linux under the project name. And then we have these four files which we can quite simply send across to the G drive, which in my case is where I've connected my SD card. We can tell it to do this for the next three conflicts. We can click on copy and replace, and this will copy the four files across to the SD card. Okay, with the SD card connected into the uh, Zincbury, I've now connected a HDMI cable here to my to my monitor, and you can see the camera is up and is up and running here again with the red LED on the background. So with that, if I turn on my if I turn on my monitor, we should get. Wait a minute while it waits up and thinks. And coming up on the monitor, we should get the U-boot, and eventually the frames come up from the from the camera. So we can wave, oh, dropping it there, but we can wave the wave the camera about, and you can see me as I'm videoing this. You can see a little bit more about the uh, the mess that I write my, write all these blogs in, and uh, we can see the Zincbury. So yeah, it's that's it's that simple to get uh, to get our uh, Zincbury up and running with the camera, and then from there on we can. Uh, take a little bit more fun and have a little bit more of a look at it in detail.